Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in today's comparison video, we're looking at wetsuits. Um, I basically took two five mil wetsuits to try and uh, sort of see what features are kind of handy. Um, so they're both five mil. I've got a men's and a women's, but that is nothing. Um, I just like the uh, the female version of the Aquaflex because it's got this funky detailing on it. Um, but other than that, one is a lot cheaper, one's more expensive. So we're gonna be looking at the features and sort of see whether it's worth kind of upgrading to a nicer suit. Uh, Let's take a closer look at these two 5mm wetsuits. Okay, so the two suits that I've got in front of me, I've got the Mares Pioneer 5mm and I have the Aqualung Aqualflex uh, wetsuit, both 5mm wetsuits um, and uh, they both have the same sort of thermal um, protection value of a, or like a C. Um, but yeah, let's take a closer look. I'm going to start off with the Mares. Uh, we're going to be looking at the different features uh, and then compare and contrast them against the one on the, uh, the more expensive suit. So the first thing that you'll notice is that this one comes with a hood. Um, so that's something extra, uh, especially if you're diving in colder waters, then a hood makes a world of difference uh, to keep you nice and warm. Uh, and it also has a nice clip that kind of sits on your hip, a tiny little D-ring, um, so you can clip something off onto that. Um, basically your hoods when you're getting out of the water or before you're getting in. Instead of having to hold all your bits and bobs, you just clip it off and it's, it's there. Now the suit itself, five mil of neoprene, pretty standard. Um, as far as flexibility, it's pretty standard. It's kind of par for the course. Um, the stitching, so this uh, is uh, this is blind stitch. So that way the stitching doesn't go all the way through the neoprene. It just kind of goes halfway through. Um, and then I imagine we have the same on the inside. Um, oh no, it's... Oh no, it is stitched on the inside. Um, so it's double blind stitch, once on the inside, once on the outside, um, so that there's no sort of quick sort of transport of water to go through it. Um, we have different neoprenes running through. We've got really um, sort of basic standard neoprene on like the chest, but then under the arms, this is a um, this is a nicer grade of uh, sort of outer material. So that's more sort of flexible. Um, and that just means that your arms can move around a bit easier. Up around the neck, uh, glide skin, fairly um, sort of standard, this sort of titanium, uh, they all call it something slightly different. Um, it's effective at sealing against your skin and uh, that's just a raw cut, so very simple. Bit of Velcro means that you can uh, sort of make it as snug as you like. And uh, again, we have, I think that's even three mil. Um, it's just a little bit thinner around the neck so it, it, it doesn't quite choke you. Um, and it's just that much more um, effective at a, um, as an effective seal. Over the shoulders, we've got this detailing here, uh, these little sort of triangles, that just means that your shoulder straps are gonna stay in position. Um, moving down the sleeves, we've got uh, anti-slip pads. So around the cuffs, you've got this kind of detailing, and this just means that your dive computer is gonna grip to that a little bit better than the normal lining, stops it from moving around or slipping. And then on the inside, again, we've got glide skin material, uh, and then raw cut, just the same as the neck, uh, and that will be exactly the same on the, uh, on the ankles. So, Opening up the suit, we're just gonna take a quick look on the inside. So we've got a plastic YKK zipper uh, that's being a little bit stubborn to, um, to start with. Uh, but once I do get into it, it's probably just got a bit of lining stuck. It's, um... there you go. <clears throat> on the inside, basic lining, nothing fancy on the inside. Um, it's a very traditional uh, sort of neoprene lining on the inside, which makes it a bit easier to get in and out. It also means it's not gonna stick and cling to your skin, um, but it is going to uh, sort of trap some water and keep it um, sort of against you. So there's your, uh, your Pioneer. It's a very uh, sort of simple suit. Um, no great sort of frills or um, sort of bells and whistles. One of its biggest selling points is that you do get a hood with it, uh, which is quite nice uh, for a sort of a, sort of a budget suit, as it were, for lack of a better term. Um, but then we're going to switch over to the Aqualung, the Aquaflex, and we're going to see how it contrasts and see um, sort of why it's a that much more expensive and is it kind of worth it. So looking at the Aquaflex, so yes, this is the girls' version. Uh, the boys' version is blue, um, but the first thing that you'll notice is in the stitching. So the stitching is actually liquid sealed or um, 
basically it's blind stitch so exactly the same except they have this uh, sort of rubber seal that they've kind of glued it closed um, and then that again on the inside is uh, a little bit smoother because instead of, if I actually show it to you, instead of having a stitch that kind of runs through on the inside that goes against your bare skin, if I open this outwards, <clears throat> So we've got the, uh, the blind stitch there, which is very, very soft against your skin. So um, even if you're wearing it to the bare skin, it's nice and comfortable and that's not gonna rub too much. Um, staying with the outside, so we've got um, this external lining has a really high sort of, uh, like almost thread count. Um, if you go back to the Pioneer, you remember on the chest, it's the fairly standard, but then underneath the arms, it's that higher uh, sort of higher knit. All of this suit seems to be the higher knit, except where it's like reinforced over the knees. Um, as far as stretch, it's much stretchier. Um, so this neoprene is actually called Aquaflex neoprene. It's still five millimeters, but it's more flexible. So that just means that getting in and out of the suit is gonna be much easier, and also it's gonna be less restrictive, so you can actually move around whilst you're in the suit. Up around the neck, uh, very similar uh, glide skin. We've got a kind of diamond patterning in this one, but again, it's a raw cut. Uh, that's kind of glide skin material, seals against your neck, slows the water down, stops it from getting in, and a Velcro closure so you can adjust exactly how snug it is. Uh, this again is about three mil around the neck, and then it gets thicker uh, as you go to the main portion of the suit. Um, on the left hand cuff, not both of them, uh, this one has the same kind of detailing on the, ins uh, on the outside, sorry. So this is for your dive computer, stops it from slipping around, uh, but it does not have the uh, sort of glide skin on the inside. Uh, whilst it is a kind of raw cut, it's, um, it's kind of a pinched cut on the edge of this. So instead of just using a pair of scissors and sort of cutting it uh, as a section of neoprene, it's actually sort of pinched and like almost uh, sort of heat welded closed. So uh, it's less likely to fray on the edges. So that's quite a nice little touch. Uh, it doesn't have a Canadian seal or anything. Um, so that's just a very basic um, sort of cuff seal running through. Down to the, um, the inside. So this is where wetsuits tend to um, differ. A lot of people, they focus on the outside of the suit, where it's actually they should be looking at the inside of the suit. We'll see if I open it up a bit more. So on the inside of the suit, over your chest, you see we've got this kind of reddish pink material. So for the rest of the suit, it's this traditional black lining on the inside, which is nice and uh, sort of smooth, so you can get in and out of the suit nice and easily. But over your chest, you actually have this uh, almost like plush lining, and this just sort of traps water, slows it down, and, uh, and keeps that area of your body just um, sort of insulated. So that way it's keeping your core body temperature up, so you're staying nice and warm whilst you're in the water. Something else it also does, which isn't immediately available, you may be able to see a faint line just down here. And, uh, and this is because it has kidney pads. So it just gets a little bit thicker, just in like the small of your back. And, um, and that benefits in a couple of ways. One, it's gonna keep your kidneys warm. Of course, all your blood flows goes through your kidneys. So uh, if you keep them nice and warm, your blood stays nice and warm, and then it keeps you in turn nice and warm. Um, but also that's where your uh, sort of back plate of your BCD is gonna be sitting. So extra padding is good. It's gonna be comfortable uh, and it's not gonna be digging into your back. Down towards the legs, uh, again, exactly the same as the, um, as the wrist cuffs. It's um, no fancy lining on the inside, and, uh, and it's got that uh, sort of pinch cut on that. So the main benefits to this suit over the, uh, the Pioneer is those, li uh, those liquid seams. Um, again, it just makes it a little bit um, sort of more comfortable. And also it means that if you do over time, like wear through a seam, one of the stitching goes, it's not going anywhere. Whereas on other suits, eventually a thread is just gonna unravel and that will um, sort of, it'll damage the integrity of that seam. You'll have to um, sort of stitch that to, uh, to keep it closed because they've liquid glued it through all of these seams. Uh, there's a few that they've missed out sort of on the back of the leg, but for all the primary seams, um, they're all sort of glued shut. So even if you do sort of cut one sort of section of thread, it can't go anywhere because 
both sides of it is actually glued. Um, the neoprene itself, much more flexible, nice and stretchy, so it's really easy to get in and out of it and you can move around. Um, and that internal lining just means that you're gonna stay that much warmer. So as far as features, granted you get a hood with the Pioneer, but actually, I, if you're gonna be wearing it more than a few times, um, it's always worth going for a nicer suit because you're just gonna have a better experience getting the suit on and off. You're not gonna be all sort of flustered when you're getting kitted up. And when you're in the water, it works just the same, if not better, because it's got that internal lining. Okay, so let's take a look at the specifications, the kind of the nitty gritty of it. Um, so starting off with the Mares, so this is five mil of neoprene, which is really your kind of Goldilocks. Um, it's the good sort of all rounder thickness. Uh, it's got a few features on it. It's got the glide skin. It's got the uh, sort of additional hood and attachment points. Um, it's got the thermal protection class of C, uh, which is pretty par for the course for a five mil. I think you can. I think I've seen. I've seen a few Bs, and I think I've even seen an. 1A class rating for a um, uh, for a five mil, but um, but other than that, it's a fairly generic uh, sort of five mil wetsuit. Um, no sort of bells and whistles and fanciness. Uh, it just gets the job done, and that's it. Uh, so this has a recommended retail price at the moment of 165 pounds. Um, which is more than acceptable for a five mil. Um, I quite like the styling of it. Uh, so the black with some red flashes, obviously red's gonna disappear over time, but meh, uh, as you go down. Um, but Mara's, they're doing their whole range where sort of three mils are one color and then red means it's a five mil and then blue is a different one. Um, and you get the hoods, that's, that's the main benefit of it. Switching to the uh, the Aqualung, so this is Aquaflex neoprene, five mil neoprene, more flexible. Um, and um, on the inside, we've got that thermal plush on the inside. Um, so that's gonna improve the, um, the, sort of the warmth of the suit. Um, thermal protection class of a C again, so they're both the same sort of rating. Um, but again, it's pretty much par for the course for a five mil. They could have improved it by putting some seals um, sort of around the, um, the cuffs and whatnot, but I'm all right with a C in a, in a five mil. Um, but this has a recommended retail price at the moment of 260 pounds. So it is more expensive, it's almost twice as expensive, um, but what you're paying for is the nicer neoprene and the linings and the, uh, the seams, just sort of slightly higher uh, sort of finishing quality as it were. Um, but as far as specs, which one is winning, I'm leaning with the, um, the Aqualung again. Um, granted it is like an extra 100 pounds, but you are getting a lot of bang for your buck just in that neoprene, because it's that much more flexible. Um, you don't want a, uh, a suit because over time your suit's going to uh, get old and it's going to get a little bit stiff. So um, if you're starting off with something that's really, really soft and pliable, um, then yeah, you're already off to a winner. So at this point, I'm still leaning towards the uh, the Aqualung Aquaflex. Um, granted, it's more expensive, but it's got all the kind of the additional features that I want in a suit. Okay, so final thoughts, kind of boiling it all down, um, sort of which one is better. So basically, if you're on a budget and you want a, a decent suit, then the Mara's Pioneer is a fantastic suit for what you get. Um, you get a, a hood as well, which is, is just gonna save you money in the long run. Um, and, um, and yeah, it will keep you warm. It'll do the job. Um, it's pretty tough. It's got all the features that you need in a wetsuit. Um, but if you're gonna be diving sort of more frequently, you want something a bit more comfortable, then yeah, I definitely recommend the, um, the Aqualung Aquaflex. Um, it's just that much more comfortable when you're putting it on. It's more flexible to, uh, to sort of get your feet through. Um, it's not uncomfortable. They've made it a nice sort of tailored fit. Um, and that um, the neoprene is just flexible. So it just, it feels more um, sort of free when you're actually, um, when you're actually sort of wearing it, when you're in the water, you're getting kitted up. You don't want to be restricted by your, um, your suit. So um, sort of big open panels of this really stretchy material, um, yeah, is a real sort of selling point. And because it's something that's kind of against your skin, um, it's a complete bodysuit that you're wearing 
time for um, sort of prolonged periods of uh, activity, yeah, I'd always rather spend that little bit extra and just go for a nicer suit um, because, okay, it doesn't come with a hood, but you get hoods um, sort of quite easily nowadays that will match the style. Um, it covers you from head to toe. It's got all the features that you need. Um, and it's still got the same thermal class rating despite not having those um, sort of, uh, what you call it, glide skin cuffs on your uh, sort of ankles and around your wrists. So yeah, for this one, I am leaning towards the Aquaflex. Um, it's, it's just the nicer suit. And granted, it is a hundred pounds more expensive, but in my books, actually, it's kind of worth it. But what do you guys think? Um, what wetsuit do you wear and why? I mean, I've got a, um, I've got an old, old five mil wetsuit. It was a waterproof Lynx um, wetsuit that's still going strong. Um, but of course, let us know which wetsuit that you're wearing and why. Um, obviously the water temperatures as well, um, just to help people out know sort of what your temperature range is because a five mil is that kind of Goldilocks. You can wear it sort of most of the year here in the UK. Um, and um, it, it's that kind of perfect, uh, sort of thickness. It's not too thick that it's so buoyant, uh, but it's not too thin that you're getting cold. Uh, five mil really is your, um, your sort of your Goldilocks. And of course, if you want us to compare any other objects um, to scuba things, let us know um, and, uh, and we'll try and get them together and I'll uh, sort of go through the different specifications and kind of really which one is better in my opinion. Um, yeah, pop, pop them down in the comments below so I know what to add for our next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, of course, don't forget to like and share it and do all that social media stuff um, so more people can see it and so that we can, of course, make more videos like this. And of course, head over to our Teespring store to check out our new range of merchandise. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.